All right, Kylie, thank you. It is time now for our Eye on Education segment. You know, between getting through college and paying for it, picking which one is more challenging might be difficult. But a new survey out from Carmel-based InvestEd indicates Hoosiers are very concerned about student loan debt. And the college graduates across the state on average is some $30,000 in loans. The survey commissioned by InvestEd and some of the key takeaways include the option to pay for college using future income. For more on the survey and what it all could mean for the Indiana economy, pleased to be joined by InvestEd Marketing Vice President Bill Wozniak. And Bill, welcome uh, as always to the show. Thank you. I know this is your fourth survey and, uh, you know, consistently uh, there is concern uh, around the state of Indiana about student loan debt. In fact, this survey, 76 uh, percent, three out of every four of those surveys say they are concerned about uh, student debt and the impact. Absolutely. Once again, not a big surprise, uh, but 76 percent of the respondents saying that they are concerned about the level of student loan debt. Uh, graduates carry, and that is consistent with what we hear when we're at our events and talking to families, but the survey shows it again this year. Yeah, and again, the number, and that may surprise some people, that's a big number. The average student, uh, student debt is $30,000. Yes, and again, there are some, um, let's say somebody going for um, to be a doctor, you know, some yep. of these uh, different careers that bring the number up a little bit. So it depends on the major, depends on the school, things like that. But yes, uh, not a number to just be taken lightly. Interesting uh, uh, result, I think, is that 77% of those surveyed uh, around the state of Indiana feel as though this student debt situation, if you will, uh, is stifling or certainly can stifle economic growth in, in communities around Indiana. Absolutely. And again, this is a question we love to ask. And again, a strong number, almost eight in 10, believing that um, this type of debt, this type of number uh, does hurt communities. It does hurt the economic uh, ability for some of these different places to grow and thrive. And so something we need to get a handle on. What are the answers, uh, uh, Bill, as you look at it, the advice uh, to give to parents and those uh, looking at college and looking at many times a big number as you go the tuition number uh, when it comes to, to student loans and um, the ability to pay for it, to repay for it. What are some of the dynamics in that, uh, in that arena? Absolutely. On the front end, it's always a before, during, and after. And on the before, we want people to look at what they want to do, what schools, what providers offer that, and then do examination. What is the cost? What is the net price? Not the sticker price, not the cost of attendance, but what's the net price for that family? And then when they figure out where they want to go, where's the right place to go, we want them to do the best they can with the choices of aid. There's so many types of aid. But we want them to get scholarships. We want them to get grants. We want them to file the FAFSA. Mm -hmm. We want them to do all these things so they get the amount of aid which keeps the loan debt down. And then when they choose loans, make sure they choose the right loans. Yeah, it's part of it, too, understanding what's out there, not just the federal uh, programs, but the programs throughout in the state of Indiana that can help in, this, uh, in that regard. Absolutely, Gary. That's exactly right. Knowing what is out there, knowing what is the free money, knowing what forms you have to fill out, knowing what the deadlines are. And then once if you turn to some form of how you're going to pay for it, maybe it's a federal loan, maybe you use other types of loans, or you also have income share agreements, things like that. And the survey responds again that people are uh, very positive about different ways to fund education. Yeah, you, you mentioned it there, but uh, as you look at some of these more creative ways and relatively, I think, newer uh, ways to do it, and that's paying off student debt with future earnings. Is that gaining in, in, uh, in popularity? I wouldn't say gaining. It was strong a couple of years ago and continues to be strong. It's consistently strong over the years uh, where people think, hey, let me use a portion of my future income uh, to be able to pay this off. And so we're seeing different creative ways to fund education like this, and people are positive towards the concept at the very least. Hey, one thing, too, I, I know I, uh, in thinking back through reading through some of the results, and that's the, the number of people who are uh, prevented from pursuing higher education because of, of cost and those types of things. That's a big issue as well, and that, uh, that barrier to entry, if you will, into the world of higher education. And so often, uh, families that don't have a lot of resources 
are the families who are going to be eligible for the most type of aid. We all know about mm -hmm. the Pell Grant, right? Mm -hmm. And then here in Indiana, we have the generous 21st Century Scholars Grant, but there's others as well. And so many families walk away completely when there are these funding sources from Indiana or the federal government that are out there, but people just walk away completely. Um, and it, it makes us sad because oftentimes there are uh, great dollars available for those families. Yeah, knowing what's out there. Before we wrap up, uh, Bill, deadlines uh, always part of the process. The FAFSA uh, deadline, that will be coming up uh, uh, here this spring. April 15th is the deadline to be eligible for the generous Indiana grants. So the FAFSA has to be filed for those going this fall by April 15th. Bill Wozniak is vice president of marketing at Invest uh, Marketing at Invest Ed. Uh, interesting results from a fourth annual survey. Bill, as always, thank you, and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you so much. All right.